Hi, welcome to the Arcade Buffet. We have another 25-inch K7000 repair. This is for Curtis LV426 on the K-Law forums. He had done some work to this chassis and, you know, wanted to try to fix it himself, which is all well and cool. But, unfortunately, the chassis did not survive very well. He got everything installed correctly, as far as polarity and things like that gone, but he had lacked a little bit in his soldering skills. Needs a little bit more practice, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So, he sent it to me, and I got to looking at it. Well, I found uh, lots of repair needed to be done on it, but everything was salvageable, so no big deal. There was lots of broken traces, lots of broken pads. Some traces were missing. And that, that happens from when your soldering iron is too hot, or you try to rip things off the board, or other possible things. So I went ahead, sat down, found all the stuff that was wrong and what I could find and sat down and redid the traces and pads and things like that. Did a reflow on it, changed some caps out that hadn't been changed and fired it up. Well, upon firing it up, I had uh, no video. I had gray raster but no video. So I got down to looking at it again and found that there was one trace missing. So it's one of the ones that not terribly obvious that it would have needed another contact but got to compare him between another chassis and this one found out what the problem was I've had that problem before in that area so I knew where to look and then plugged it back in and had picture but I had no red well so got taken it off again got the other chassis out compared it all the traces and stuff like that and found that one of the traces again was burnt off so made the bridge where necessary fired it back up and voila had some red so this chassis not an easy repair not a hard repair just a time consuming repair so kudos for him for the try that's great but please if you don't know what you're doing ask more questions all that happy jazz and get her done right so but he got to he gave it a good try and I applaud the effort so sometimes that's what happens but anyway everything's been adjusted to this tube ignore the snow that is a test station I will let it run through its test period and get it ready to ship out all controls work as they should and it looks fantastic so here it is again it looks fantastic nothing nothing out of the ordinary other than just time consuming and putting it back together so Everything worked out good, and all is well. His game will live to see another day. So, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom of this video, or shoot me a message at thearcadebuffet at gmail.com, or visit my site, thearcadebuffet.com. Thanks, and see you soon.